My previous images of cast iron cookware were rusty old skeletons until several years ago when I received a cast iron skeleton from Santa. I have used it mainly to fry eggs because I heard that a cast iron skeleton fries the best eggs. Recently, one of my cooking class students asked me about whether she could stir fry in her cast iron skeleton. I decided to give it a try in my cast iron skeleton and report my finding and post a video on my experience. Other than the fact that a cast iron skillet is not designed for stir frying, I like the way how the food turns out. I decided to give it a try and bought a cast iron wok made by Large. In this video, I will review the Large 14 inch cast iron wok and my experiences in cooking different types of food in it. This is Tak Chung from Wok with Tak. My first impression of the cast iron wok is that it's heavy duty in its construction. It weighs just shy of 12 pounds. The top of the wall measures 14 inches across. The wok has two straight handles running parallel to the surface of the wok. I have a silicon handle insulator that fits well to the handle. Unfortunately, I have only one, but I can use my silicon hot gloves if I want to move the wok. The wok has a round bottom similar to the traditional Chinese wok. In order for the wok to sit on a flat surface, the manufacturer added a flat pedestal-like structure which measures 5.5 inch across. I have an electric glass top stove, and I find the contact area between the wok and the heating surface is relatively small. I'm not sure how well the wok might be heated up. I first start by frying an egg. The wok is completely seasoned, and the egg should not stick to the wok. As you can see, that the egg slides freely across the surface of the wok. The wok is well seasoned. I next saute some garlic to see whether my electric stove could heat up the wok adequately. Not a problem. I find the garlic is sizzled in the same way as it was in a carbon steel wok on this stove. Next, I stir fry some carrots in the wok, and this is the first time that I cook in a round bottom wok. I do not find too much difference from a flat bottom wok although it seems to be easier to stir because of the curvature. I then cook a vegetable dish in the wok with different kinds of vegetables. I find that my electric glass top stove has no problem in heating up the wok at frying temperature. I then stir fry some salmon in the cast iron wok. I was able to stir fry the salmon effectively as I were cooking in the carbon steel wok. The next big step is cooking some fried rice and I cook a large portion of fried rice to see whether the glass top electric stove is able to adequately heat up the cast iron wok. Both the stove and the wok perform very well. The wok holds heat so well that I turn the burner down to low to finish the dish. I find the fried rice more crisp when cooked in the cast iron wok. I find the wok hold is seasoning well and I do not have any food sticking to the wok after cooking the fried rice or after cooking any other dishes. In summary, I give a thumbs up to this large cast iron wok. I particularly like its ringing tone with the standard steel wok spatula. I could see myself using this cast iron wok as my everyday wok. Peachy said I can keep the wok for now. If you'd like to see more recipes, cooking tips, and benefits of my cooking system, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Wok with Tak by pressing the subscribe button below. Thank you for watching. See you next time.